hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video we will going to look at some of the interesting thing which we can observe from the inputs tab so if you remember from the previous video we have imported the four different files uh, for four different region which is south central west and east and uh, the respective information is coming over here related to the fields so the field name original field name if any changes like filtering or anything that we have done and their sample values so this provide a lot of uh, input in terms of the values that we are importing and as i have mentioned in the previous video we can uncheck any of the column if we don't want it to be a part of our final data but if we look at uh, the order central over here the data set that we have imported we will see that uh, we have some values like order year order month order date ship year ship month ship days so it's basically an entire date and bifurcated into their respective year month and day whereas if we look at for example order south you will see that order date is one column and ship date is one column so that's the kind of problem that you will you will see in your data set once uh, you will get the data from different uh, sources or uh, for different regions or maybe for different years you will see that one or the other column is um, it's it's bit haywired and you need to do some processing to uh, properly put the data in the right format also one other thing which uh, we can notice over here is related to country city state but there is no field as a region whereas as compared to the south over here if we click over here we will see that a region field is present over here but in case of the central we do not have the region field we have country city state and if we go down uh, probably yeah we don't have the uh, region field so that's one thing that we can observe by comparing the fields of two different uh, sets and uh, this comparison and understanding helps us how we need to process the data and uh, if we go to order west we uh, see that down there we have region yeah so that's good uh, there is ship date order date ship mode looks like in sync with the most of the data sets uh, but if you come down I just noticed that you have these fields which is right row ID right order date and a lot of fields which has been duplicated with the right and down there you have also the state but this state value is not similar to the state values which is present in the other sheets so it has just uh, abbreviated column with the name AZ I think it's for Arizona if I'm not wrong but if you look at let's say central over here this is uh, properly uh, the full name of the taxes but not the abbreviated two words letter over here so probably we may need to do some processing in this case and make it as per um, our needs but this particular problem like uh, these right field probably not very useful uh, if you look at because we already have all the related fields over here and looks like a duplicacy so we can uncheck this and we will make sure that they are not part of the data set so if I uncheck everything over here which is related to write uh, as a write as a prefix so in just few minutes I will make sure that I have only the relevant fields so yeah all the fields which is right has been removed and you can see the remove field icon is coming over here making uh, making us sure that this will not be included um, if you look at order east we see that um, category city country we have discount I think region is present profit is present yeah ship date and I guess order date was also yeah order date is also present but uh, if I look at the values I see that for sales you have a prefix of USD 
whereas if I look at let's say West and in West if I look at sales it does not have as a prefix of USD similarly if I look at Central it does not have USD as a prefix coming back here look trying to look at sales where is sales yeah so it does not have it's only order east which is having usd so we may need to do some processing over here to make sure that this is not becoming a part of our data set and these are just very high level uh information that i could gather by looking at the uh data set or you can if you are a data expert or if somebody is a data expert in your team they can you know do the comparison over here and uh, you know make sure that uh, you know all things at a high level that you need to do but as and when we will move forward we will see more and more issues more and more things that we need to do for example things like uh, creating a new field altogether or splitting a field or joining a field all of that we will see in action once we move ahead so that's a very high level uh, understanding i wanted to give you related to the input steps and the things that you can look at once you are importing the data so that's about it and uh, yeah that's uh, i have for this video and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic